welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can improve the graphics of your Nintendo DS games. Before we begin, here's a quick showcase of the upgrade you can expect to see. And now I'll show you how it's done. The first thing you need to do is open up RetroArch, and then we'll need to download a core that can play DS games. So we begin on the main menu, and you want to go to Online Updater, and then Core Downloader, and then scroll all the way down to Nintendo DS. And you'll see there's three cores that support the Nintendo DS. My personal favourite is Des Smoomy. I have no idea how to pronounce that properly, so I'm going to assume it's Des Smoomy. But anyway, you can try the other two, but in this video I'll be using Des Smoomy. Okay, so press enter on it to download, and once it's downloaded, go back to the home screen. And then simply load up a Nintendo DS ROM. So once you've got a game loaded up, simply go to the sub-menu by pressing F1, and then go down to Core Options. Okay, so these are the options that I use to upgrade the graphics for Nintendo DS games. So firstly go to System, and then go down to CPU Cores, and change that to 4. That's assuming you have a quad-core CPU on your computer, but I think most CPUs these days tend to be quad-core or even more. And then go back a screen and go down to graphics. And then go to internal resolution and press enter. So the aim here is we want to choose something higher than one. However, the Nintendo DS, despite being a number of years old, in regards to emulation, it is actually very demanding on your system. So I would hesitate to jump to one of the higher numbers immediately, otherwise there is a risk that your computer will grind to a halt. So what I suggest you do is maybe go up one at a time. So if we start on 1x, maybe try 2x, and then if you find your computer handles it well, move up another rung. But either way, even just by upgrading by you know, one level, you'll notice an increase in graphical fidelity. On my computer, I can handle about 4x. If I go any higher than 4x, then my uh, performance dips massively. So I'm just going to choose that for now. 
and then go to OpenGL Rasterizer and switch that to on. And then Soft 3D High Res Color Interpolation to on. And then go down to Texture Deposterization and switch that to on. And now it's a matter of closing RetroArch entirely and then opening it up again. So now you've opened RetroArch up again. Before we get to the game, I want to show you one other setting that I think might be useful for you. The traditional DS layout is having one screen above and one screen below. However, I find this doesn't necessarily make the best use of your computer monitor. So what I prefer is to have the two screens side by side, which tend to make better use of my computer monitor. So I press F1, go to core options, and then go down to screen and then screen layout. And then I tend to have left and right rather than top and bottom. And then I'll just press enter and then I return to the game. And then you'll notice that the two screens are side by side, which I think make better use of the screen real estate. Hopefully you'll notice the visual upgrade for your Nintendo DS games now. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please support the channel by subscribing.